Hello everybody, today I brought you another problem and today are we are tasked with simplifying the given equation here. So you can see on first glance that we have a lot of square roots and we have parentheses square root of 8 plus square root of 2 squared minus parentheses square root of 18 minus 1 times square root of 18x plus square root of x all over square root of x. And we want to simplify this as much as possible, as far as we can. Okay, so what do we do first things? So first thing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this problem up into two different parts. So I'll take this as one part and this is another part. So for now, let's just focus on the first part. So the first part, as you can see, we have a plus in between these two terms in the parentheses and it's all getting squared. So do you recall a certain formula that is for this specific situation? There's a certain formula that states that a plus b squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. All right. And in this case, for our equation here, our a will be our square root of 8 and our b will be our square root of 2. So let's use this equation here, or this formula per se, to simplify the first part of our grand equation. So our a squared, since our a is square root of 8, I'll just plug it in like this for the beginning, square root of 8 squared plus 2ab, so 2 times a is square root of 8 times b is square root of 2 and then plus b squared, so that will be square root of 2 squared. So now we have more simplified our first part, so let's look on the second part. So I'm going to rewrite again, so square root of 18 minus 1. Looking at it first glance, I don't see much we can do with it for now, so I'll just leave it as it is. And then let's look at our second part. So, does anything stand out in this term here that has the square roots of x's? So in every single term inside this fraction bar has a square root of x. And one rule of square roots is that if you have two things multiplied in the square root, you can simplify it, which is not, which is what I'm about to show you. You can simplify it. So this was square root of 18x. We can simplify, or not simplify, but change it into square root of 18 times square root of x plus square root of x over square root of x. So I don't know if you noticed, but in every term here, we have a square root of x. So let's just go further now. So let's simplify what we have so far. So square root of 8 squared. So square root of 8 times square root of 8, you can just imagine that the square roots cancel out with each other. Cancel out, cancel out. And that will leave us with simply 8. And then plus 2 times 8. 2 times square root of 8 times square root of 2. I'll just keep that as it is for now. Plus square root of 2 squared. So as said last time with the square root of 8, the square root and the squared cancel out. So we'll simply be left with 2 minus square root of 18 minus 1. I'll keep it as it is. And now what can we do with this expression here? As you might already be thinking, it looks like we can cancel out a square root of x. But how will we do it? You might be thinking is cancel out one from the bottom, one from the top. However, you cannot do that. And you cannot do that because notice how here we have a plus sign. So if it's a plus sign, you cannot just simply cancel one square root of x from the top and bottom. You can only do it if it's multiplication. So since we have a plus sign, what we can do is take out a square root of x from each term on the top and bottom. So first thing I'm going to do is factor out square root of x from the top. So then our top becomes multiplication. So we take out the square root of x from the square root of 8, x times 8 square root of 18. So we have square root of 18. And then here, 
if we divide square root of x by square root of x, we just have 1. And then the bottom will just say square root of x. And now, since this here is multiplied, this is multiplication here, this means that we can cancel out the top and the bottom. We can cancel out this square root of x and this square root of x. So now let's re rewrite further. So we have a lot more simplified. Now let's focus on this part here. Another rule in square roots is that if you're multiplying two square roots together, you can multiply the inside of two square roots and put it under only one. So this will become this can become two times eight times two. And eight times two is sixteen, right? So this can become two times sixteen. So let me simplify. So that we get eight plus two times square root of sixteen. What is square root of sixteen? That is simply four. A nice number. Four plus two. Now this will be 8 plus 2 times 4 plus 8 plus 2. So I'm going to already rewrite this. I can write on the bottom. This will be 16, right? Oops, excuse me. That would be 18. We have our square root of 18 minus 1 here. And here we can cancel out these two square root of x's. So we are left with 18 plus 1. So now our equation already looks much, much cleaner than before, but we are not done yet. So this is what we're left with, and how do we simplify it? So we can ignore the 18 for now. 18 is pretty simple. So let's focus on these terms here. And these two terms are being multiplied. And if you look at them, they look pretty similar. So there's square root of 18 on both of them, and then 1 here. However, there's a minus here and a plus here. So what can we do with that? We can use the perfect square formula in order to simplify this. And if you need a reminder on what the perfect square formula is, it is a minus b times a plus b is equal to a squared minus b squared. So in this case, as you may already guess, our a would be square root of 18 and our b would be 1. So now let's implement this formula with the numbers that we're given. So we have our square root 18a and our 1 is b. So what that will turn into, and I'm going to write 18 first, so this, this 18 is the same 18 as this, don't get it mixed up. And now I will write so also notice, here's a minus sign. This is also important. So just, I'm going to write the negative sign here, and then I will just write parentheses just to be safe because, because negatives can get very confusing, and you can easily make a mistake with them. So I'm going to just write parentheses. And now we have a squared. So our a is square root of 18. So square root of 18 squared minus b squared. That's 1, so 1 squared. And now we can already simplify that. 18 minus, so our 18 squared, uh, square root of 18 squared, as we have already gone over, square root and square cancel each other out. So we are left with 18. And minus 1 squared is just simply 1. So we have 18 minus, 18 minus 1 is 17. And that gives us for our grand answer of 1. So that is our final answer. That was what we simplified, that big problem. We got it into a 1. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. And I would like to thank you for watching. Subscribe. That would be nice. Like, comment, do whatever. And I will see you next time. Bye. Thank you.